What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing this ICT billet steam port crossover for the front as well as their steam port block offs for the rear. My factory four corner one is rusted out. Nothing passes through it. And with me running the Tejas Steelworks uh, engine swap mounts, it's going to be set. The engine will be higher at the front than the rear anyways. So steam's going to travel to the highest point so the rears would never work. So what we're going to do is uh, block off the rears, install this crossover, which has a nipple coming out of the passenger side. Then we will drill and tap the water pump for like a 1 8 NPT hose barb, connect it that way so it's a nice clean look, nothing running across the front of the engine, nothing going to the radiator, nothing going to one of those like couplings for that'll fit between your upper radiator hose. So it should be a nice clean look once we get it installed. It's a pretty simple install. We're going to get started. If you're new to the channel click the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner also check out my 500 subscriber giveaway if you haven't already drop a comment and you'll be entered to win a free set of dirty dingo ls swap motor mounts I went ahead and Teflon taped uh, all my connections off camera. I also installed the O-rings that will seal it. So how you do this is you take your driver's side, you're going to just start threading it in there. Remember these are aluminum threads so you don't wanna put the Gorilla Torque on them and strip out the aluminum threads. You just want to get it nice and tight where they won't leak. So it's going to set like this on the engine. So what we will need is when we install this one, we're going to need them to be very similar as far as sitting like this. So now that it's starting to tighten up by hand, we'll just take the wrench. Sorry if I'm moving the camera on you guys. Should be able to get one more round out of it. Okay, so now that we are very similar, we can install our hose barb, which you can I don't know if you can see the hole in there where the steam will cross over. I don't think, I mean, it's pretty far in there, but I don't think you'll thread the barb enough to close it off. And you will just take your wrench and tighten it up as well. Which, remember, aluminum threads, no gorilla torquing. Okay, so now that we have this together, we are ready to go install it on the engine as well as our rear steam port block offs as well. Okay guys, clean up the mating surface of your steam ports on the head for the front. Then it will just drop in like so. I put a little bit of blue Loctite on the threads just to make sure they never back out. We have any issues like that on both sides. And the torque spec, which you could probably just go till they're tight. The O-rings are bottomed out, sealed. But if you're into torque specs, the torque specs for the steam line bolts are 106 inch pounds. Sorry about that, but you can see I have the torque wrench set at 106 inch pounds. It's just a Amazon Tecton. They make good quality stuff. I've got their uh, half inch drive torque wrench. I really like it. So
That's all it takes to install the front steam port crossover. Let me get the engine turned around and we'll install the rear block offs. Okay guys, I did the same as I did on the front. I made sure my mating surfaces was clean and wiped down with like alcohol or brake clean. And then I also installed blue Loctite on the threads of the bolts as well. So we don't have them back out on us. You know, set them in place so the O-ring seats, put your bolts in and then tar start tightening up till you tighten it, till you can torque them to 106 inch pounds. Just do it once over on all of them again. Make sure they're torqued to the 106 inch pounds. That's all it takes to install the ICT billet rear steam port block offs and front steam port crossover with, I mean, with the barb. It's important to have the LS steam lines Otherwise, the steam in the heads has nowhere to go. You always have air trapped in your coolant system. This way you can put it in the return side of the water pump and it should take it back to the radiator and burp it out that way. And that way you won't have any air trapped in the system, have any overheating issues. This is an easy way to block off the rears on a early Gen 3. I think in the later Gen 3s, Gen 4s, they were blocked off from the factory. I will be drilling and tapping my water pump with a 1 8 NPT hose barb so that way we can make a real short hose from the steam lines to the water pump so that way it's a very clean look. No hoses strewn everywhere. One going to like a weird fitting in the upper radiator hose or one going straight to the radiator so you have a I don't know what 3 8 line quarter inch line going from the front of the engine all the way to the radiator. So if you enjoyed the video guys, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to check out my latest video of the 500 subscriber giveaway. We'll be giving away a set of dirty dingo motor mounts. Like I said, about a hundred dollar value. They'll be yours for free. So if you win, so until next time guys.